Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today's the 13th of November, 2022. We are here to talk about Palantir, because guess what? I did a video in Palantir about three days ago. Uh, let me see what day it was. It was on the 10th of November. So let me zoom on this price and show you what has happened into the market in Palantir. Now, on that particular video, I was explaining to each and every one of you that the market should hit this all time low area, which was back here on May the 12th, 2022. But instead, the buyers came in a lot sooner. So the price prediction that I've created on the minute attempt went against me. Yes, I'll show you when I get my price predictions correct, as well as when I get them wrong. This one was incorrect. It, it did not go the way I expected it to go. So when you got situations like this, you quickly need to come in and reevaluate the situation and change over. That is one of the biggest and best things that we have being on the retail side of the markets is that we can actually come in and switch teams and be on the winning team anytime we want to. So I'm going to show you all what I think the market and Palantir is going to do next. Let me go ahead and get rid of this price prediction. So if we've already got the market on the close of the last trade on Friday, we will be down 20%. Yes, it happens. But in order for us to reduce increases in losses, we need to cut it. We need to let it go. So check this out. This is a very good trend that we're seeing into the market in Palantir now. I can actually try to forecast that price is going to try to hit $9. Yes. And I'm going to show you why. Because we got the completion of some weekly price bars that I really wanted to show you that could kind of substantiate that the buyers are controlling the market in Palantir. So check this out. This is the three weekly chart into the market in Palantir. You guys can see over the last three three weekly price bars that Palantir really hasn't done too much in terms of moving. The price is, has been stationary the last nine weeks. Look at this. We've held pretty firm this support area in Palantir. This area is being created or seen as a support area. This is, could be the possibly bottom in the market in Palantir. Yes. Could be now look at this though the five weeks so even when you look at the five weekly chart in palantir this particular five weekly price bar is massively weak right and the idea would be for price in palantir to continue to go down following this weekly price bar but my question to you is did it happen did the market in palantir fall following this five weekly price bar the answer it did not. Instead, the market in Palantir held support at seven on this five weekly price bar on a very small spread. Then you get to this five weekly price bar. Market is still holding seven dollars. The spread is a little bit wider, but the volume is heavier. This is where buyers are stepping into the market in Palantir. Yeah, uh, this is where I'm forecasting that is currently going on into the market in Palantir. Fundamental analysis can't tell you that. No way that fundamental analysis can tell you that buyers are coming in at seven dollars. That is why a price chart is more important than fundamental analysis. OK, so that's very good to see. Look at this on a two weekly chart. Take a look at that. The two weekly chart right now in Palantir, you can see it even better. So this is very powerful for us to see market hold Palantir around seven dollars. Very, very powerful. I wanted to show you all the weekly chart as well. So this is the wiki chart in Palantir. You guys can see how the market action in Palantir is still bullish. We saw the market in Palantir close up here at the high of the bar. So $9 is feasible for us to see the market in Palantir run. Next area is going to be $9.45. Then my second price, third price target is going to be $10. Okay, so we got $9, $9.45, and $10. Okay, so I'm done. We're going to anticipate the price in Palantir to now go up. We have this $7 area at support. Okay, meaning as long as price in Palantir holds $7, give or take, we're going to anticipate that the market is going to continue to lift higher. First price target, $9, that's 7% movement higher. Second price target, like around $9.45, $9.50. It's around 11%, 11 percent, 11 and a half. And my third price target is going to be up there around 10. OK, that's the third price target I'm going to look for Palantir to move. And that's it. I'm done. Simple, easy, not hard, not complicated. Relatively simple on understanding what the overall market is doing. That's why I'm more focused 
on the price chart not what everyone else not one person is doing the market is the determinant factor as to how price is going to move you need to start paying attention to the price chart and nothing else watch this make sure you maintain the profitability hit that like button share the video and also subscribe here to the channel to make sure you guys stay updated as to where the stock market or certain stocks are going to move within the stock space i'm done